In the November 2023 international break, the four lowest ranked teams in the CONCACAF region all lost. And if you've watched the video that's about to appear above Ryan describing how World Cup qualification works for the CONCACAF region, you will know round one is an old school playoff style match, if you know how the playoff system works, particularly in English football, between the lowest four ranked sides. You have the bottom ranked side, Anguilla. They'll play the fourth bottom ranked side, Turks and Caicos Islands. And then the two in the middle, the second and third lowest ranked teams will face up against each other as well. And that is a Virgin Islands derby. It is. Ryan, as, as you're a fan of BVI and I'm a fan of the Turks and Caicos Islands, do you think this is the perfect draw from our perspective? I think it's a perfect draw from your perspective because Turks and Caicos Islands play Anguilla, which is the... Mm. Um, oh, it feels harsh to say the easier of, of all the fixtures, isn't it? But I think that's that's literally the point. Um, and, well, but yeah. I mean, look, the, 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 there is an opportunity for both teams to progress. So yes, mate, it is, I guess, the ideal scenario. I am licking my lips at the prospect of a Virgin Islands derby. They've not played against each other since 2011, where they basically took part in a mirror match of what this tie is round one world cup qualification so it was 2014 world cup qualification mm. two games two legs um winner goes through they've not played each other since then and it feels apt that um that they get to meet again in in what is an exactly the same the same scenario how do you feel about it turks and caicos islands of taking on anguilla yeah, I mean, like, like you say, it's it's harsh to say easiest easiest game being Anguilla. They are the lowest ranked. Mm. They they had a very tough uh, Concacaf Nations League group. That has to be said. And of course, you know they 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 lost a lot of games in it. Um, they're probably they're probably the side. I think all all of the sides have slightly improved across the last couple of years. But I still think with Anguilla, we're waiting for an attacking player to come in that really kind of bolsters their forward line. I think that they've done a lot of work on getting players involved that have shored them up a bit at the back and they're no longer sort of somebody that gets, you know, this this won't be a Turks and Caicos Islands thrashing of Anguilla across two legs. No. Um, but do they do they pack a punch going forward? And ironically, I think Turks and Caicos Islands, one of their weakest areas is their defence. So I'm not sure how this is going to match up. You've got Anguilla, who I think are better defensively, arguably, um, or, or certainly look more solid. Uh, versus Turks and Caicos Islands that definitely have more of an attacking threat, but yeah, I was looking at the I was looking at the Virgin Islands derby. Uh, I, I only played each other eight times, mm. and they have an exact mirror match in terms of who's won. So it's three wins each and two draws. Perfectly poised. Perfectly poised for a Virgin Islands derby across two legs, as you said already. Twelve yeah. years on from that that U.S. Virgin Islands win. Romping, in, um, really. In, well, yeah, in the 20, 2011 games. Quite low scoring for considering where those two sides were kind of at at that point in time. Yeah. But, I mean, personally, I'm just glad that we're not, we as in Texas Caicos Islands are just not playing the British Virgin Islands um, because I've, I've seen us play against USVI in the last Nations League where, all right, we had Mullins at the helm, but, uh, but we played well and those were close games. Um, and I've seen us play you very recently and... I don't know how that was a draw. I mean, you watched the 3-1. I watched the 2-2. The mm. I don't know how that was a 2 Well, I know how um, it was a 2-2. But, yeah, I, I'm, I'm pleased with the draw. But I think that I think that both of the sides who progress from this round, I do think will have a really tough time in round two. Um, yeah. But I think these, these are the perfect draws for me. Yeah, I, I think that, that round two is another conversation. It's just more games, isn't it? And there, there won't be any expectations on, on anything beyond that. Um, I and I guess sorry just to 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 confirm this is we're talking about this now because it's essentially it's not officially officially been confirmed has it but it this will be the this will be the format all of the teams mm. played one game mm. in this recent November window they all lost so there were no hop skipping and jumping in the ranking order so the four and the fixtures will will be laid out then and this will all take place in the March 2024 international window between the 18th and 26th. We don't know the dates yet, as I said, because it's not officially, officially been announced, has it? No, no we're, we're very, very early to the news, purely yeah. because like the, the rankings for November haven't been updated. And we were going to pause this video until after they've been done. But noting that all of the teams lost by a, a, a similar margin, even to similar-ish ranked teams, it certainly meant that 
it was highly, highly unlikely that any of the teams sort of jumped above or below each other. Yeah. Um, and and that, that puts us in a position where four months before the games are played, we get to we get to talk about them. Of course, there'll probably be a, maybe another preview closer to the time uh, mm. about sort of more of the specifics when we know. But yeah, at this early stage, I think I'm pleased that we're seeing a Virgin Islands derby. I think it's going to have a lot of spice to it. But mm. I do think that the BVI improvement across the last few years maybe puts them in a, a good position. I, I think so. I think USVI are, from what I've seen, they're quite an inexperienced team. They've got um, JC Mack, who's the, the main man for them, who's, who's like their experienced player. But they've only won one game since sort of October 2019. I saw, so they've not been in good form, whereas BVI, I know they missed out on Nations League promotion with that final game, defeat to Dominica. But um, it was the best of a campaign and they're in an upwards trajectory, I feel, aren't they? So I feel that they're in good stead for it. We'll definitely do a more of a detailed preview of these fixtures nearer the time. We'll probably do watch longs for it from, from wherever we, we end up viewing it. We have even spoke about potentially taking a trip out there from memory, especially does a does a Virgin's Island does a Virgin Islands derby deserve to be witnessed in the flesh? I don't know, man. It's exciting, mate. It's exciting. And as I've said, you know, when we've spoken about AFC Asian um AFC um World Cup qualifiers, the all of the Nations League stuff is always great. We absolutely love it. But there is the, the pinnacle is World Cup qualification, uh World Cup qualifying matches, and this is exactly what we've got. Um so really looking forward to it. And it's cool to, it's cool. It's great to, to sort of give that immediate reaction to to what these fixtures will be, even though we are a few months out. Absolutely. Yeah, couldn't, couldn't sign it up better, really. You know, it's World Cup qualification is the pinnacle. It's a shame that two teams are going to go out at this stage, but ultimately that's the way that CONCACAF have set it up. And at least we get to see these fixtures. They're going to be closer than some of the AFC round one fixtures that we saw just because of the, there's not like a seeded draw. You know, these are... These are teams, whilst they're the four lowest ranked teams in CONCACAF, they also are between 206 and 201 in the world. Yeah. So they're all basically equals on paper. Um, so two great matchups. Yeah, like you say, four games that we're going to witness in March 24 that are going to be absolutely thrilling at the bottom end of the FIFA world rankings. And we can't wait for it. <laughs> Get down in the comments who you think out of those four teams is your pick to go through. You've only got to pick one. But, of course, the matchups, the Virgin Islands derby and Anguilla versus Turks and Caicos Islands. And as always, we'll see you next time.